divas. Hey, welcome to all the new members. Uh, thank you for coming back to check out another bag full of goodies with me. These come from a company I've used before and they are called You Are Best Deals. Your Best Deals. Um, so I'm going to put the link to them down in the bottom here. I've got several um, several different kinds of things in here so we'll go and look through them right now. Grab your cup of tea and chat along with me. Alright, so lots of goodies here. I hate the crinkle crinkle bags, don't you? Alright, I opened just the tops of them so that it, we, it would make it easier to show you these goodies. One at a time here. Let me see. These are mostly all diamond paintings. And this is an interesting one. It's called It's a Good Day to Read a Book. I like the open book with everything flying up out of it. Now it does have words on it, and I these seem to be um, large enough that you can read what it says once the drills are in place. I hesitate to get one with writing on it because you just never know if they're going to come out correct or not. And uh, basic kit and drills in little baggies. Very nice. Round. It is a 30 by 40. Okay. Okay, that's one. And I always roll it to the outside. And when I put it back in the sleeve, I put it with that up. Thumbnail up. Come on now. Alrighty. Second one. Oh, I like this one. This is like the way, it's uh, like a tidal wave. 30 by 40. I like this one because I read Pearl Buck's um, books and uh, it's like the the waves in Japan and and um, there's a book that uh, I read a children's book that had a tidal wave on the front and this looks like the cover of the book so I really like that basic kit and uh, a train of drills round drills these go so fast they only take two nights. I can get a bunch of them done in two nights. The trick is, what do I do with them afterward, right? What do you do with all your wonderful little diamond paintings? I'd love to know. I'd love to know. Okay. And the next one. You know what? I think I'm going to cover some um, notebooks with some of them. Do I use notebooks as much anymore? No, but I'm still a paper person. I have to tell you. Okay, so this one is a heart. Another 30 by 40. It's a exploding heart with hearts all over it. Red, blue, pink, yellow. I think it's pretty. Basic kit and round drills. Nice. Yep. So I hope you've all been well. I hope you all have avoided the COVID thing. Or if you haven't avoided it, I hope that it has been short-lived and has stayed away from others in your family. Oh yeah, can you tell I'm in an island mood? 24 colors, 40 by 30. Ah, oh, 
maybe, maybe I can use these on the covers of the photo albums I create. Yes, that would be nice. How many inches is 30 by 40? Let's see, uh, nine and a half by 13 and a half. I think that would be fine on the cover of a, well, it's a 12 by 12 inch, 12 by 12 inch, so I'd need a little off the ends. But otherwise, that would be nice. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover some photo, a photo album. Ugh. Well, I make my own journals. I could make my own photo album area too, huh? The right size that I need. Have you ever done that? Have you ever taken one of your paintings and, and glued it to something else rather than hang it up? And you know what? I'm going to do this one first because they look different. Let's see. Ooh. Beautiful. Can you see the color? The water lily. Yep, 23 colors. Again, 30 by 40. Round. And these can get done in, in two or three nights, three at the most. A couple of hours working on it. Yep. Beautiful. For those that are portrait size like this is, I have those uh, those plastic frames that you can just insert one in and change it up. It's trucks. I can't live with it. All right. So this is. I don't know what this is. I. I this is the the uh, picture that I chose. It's a different kind of canvas here. I did not know it's a paint by number. Aha! Uh -huh. All right then, I guess I chose a paint by number. Oh my heavens, look how big this is. This is not what I was expecting. And this is the schematic. Oh my gosh. These two are paint by number. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to do paint by numbers now. <laughs> I did have some that I had uh, purchased before. I just didn't expect. I just, I mean, ooh, well, these are small enough that maybe I can work on these. The other ones are really big, and I like them, but <laughs> interesting. And I guess this one is, too. Yes, it's another abstract. Let's look at this one. I guess I should see if the um, paint itself is goopy enough. I'm curious as to why they didn't put a paintbrush in. If they provide everything the kit would need, do they put it? Oh, they do put paintbrushes in here. They have two of them, three of them. A very skinny, two very skinny ones. One looks like a... Uh, an extreme point, and the other one is more of like a chisel shape. And that's the array of colors for this one. And oh, now this I like. This has the basic color underneath it. Somebody had said if the paint is not opaque enough these numbers kind of like shine through so what they do is they take a little bit of white gesso and they go over the number of the ones that they're doing right then and there to mix a little bit of gesso in with the color 
And I think what I'm going to do is get an array of markers. I have tons of markers, but pick out those that are closest, closely matched these colors, and I'll do it on this as I'm doing it. So that way I can see what goes to what color. See, there's some tiny little lines in here in the eyes. Tiny, tiny, tiny little things. So that would be interesting. We'll have to do one of those together on camera and see, see what we can do with that. This one might be a good one to do on camera. Would you like to see that? Put in your comments below which one Put in the comments below which one you, um, you'd like to see me do. Which one of the diamond paintings did you like the best out of this grouping? And maybe what you do with your all the diamond paintings that you do. Because if you love diamond painting as much as I do, you have a plethora of diamond paintings ready to... Um, ready to do something with. <laughs> so let me know. I'd love to know what you're doing with yours. Okay, so that's it for You Are Best Deals. And I look forward to... Okay, this is You Are Best Deals. And this is how I do my inventory. Just wanted to show you. What I do is, I when I order them, I take a little thumbnail and just put it, uh, put them on paper, um, and I put the ins, you know, whatever. Um, gosh, I take the information that's there with the two and put it next to it, so I know how to do this. Now I ordered this on April thirtieth. And it arrived today, and today's date that I'm doing this is 5-16-22. So it took 15 days, so that's not bad. That's not bad. And this is You Are Best Deals. You are best deals. The title is Wave, U-K-I-Y-O-E. Uh, the price was four dollars and sixty three cents and the canvas size is 40 by 30 it's a round drill okay so that's how I do it that's how I do it and this is I put the picture here the other thing I do is I cut the picture out And now I have a problem with my yellow color on my printer, so it's not going to look as nice there. Okay. And then I stick it down so that when these go into my notebook, I know exactly um, what the picture is. And I separate them by nature and um, people and holidays, that kind of thing in my book. And if you want to know more about my inventory system, I have videos uh, in there, uh, down in the description box. You can check other videos um, that are... Oh, I can't even talk today. <clears throat> you can check my videos down there for other my inventory system and how I do that. I fill out all this and it tells me whether I need whether I'd like to order from the company or not again because this is like my own little rating system of them. So I will do that with each and every one that came in and I have to put these as paint by number instead. Now those abstract ones were eight dollars and twenty three or thirty two cents and all the diamond paintings were oh. 
All the diamond paintings were about $5 each. So I think that's a decent deal. All right, that's the start of that one. So thank you for joining me today for You Are Best Deals. And I look forward to seeing you for another. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about the giveaways. And come on back. Bye, divas.